The nation is at great stake. Our nation's democracy is dying, if not dead. Judiciary is instructed and taken by powerful politicians. To some extent, some judges have surrendered, some lost lives. Media senior most reporters have lost lives in various states of India. But still, our Telugu state media, I can honestly say, I thank God for the owners, bureau chiefs, and senior reporters and reporters are not compromising. But whereas from south to north, east to west, I have traveled 29 states. Just in the last one year, I have traveled 18 states. National leaders, 18 leaders have gathered together, including this last week, 32 leaders, including cabinet members, four sitting chief ministers, four former chief ministers are worried. The world is worried. 56 Muslim presidents, 120 Christian presidents. The world is worried because they want India to be a democratic nation. But whereas China is leading the world by dictatorship and our nation, starting with Sonia Gandhiji, became a dictatorship in the name of democracy. And now, our good friend, my good friend Modiji is continuing using CBI, ED, and various forces to opposition leaders. I have spoken to the CBI director in person on June 22nd. I asked him to do his job justly with all other political leaders, not just the opposition leaders. And he has assured me, and I believe, he will do the needful. Our country is in great danger, our economy is in great danger, our democracy is in great danger. If EVMs continue in the coming election, there will not be any more democracy left. Therefore, I am asking all 2500 political party registered party leaders, the top 25 political party leaders, about 18 of them I have met personally in the last one year, two years. Please promote ballot paper like in the US and many other countries. The IHIC, one of the Shari Rakshin Chalate, judiciary, Chale important. I am urging the Supreme Court Chief Justice and the Supreme Court Justices. I am urging all the High Court Judges and Justices and all the Judges and Justices. If you can't find a reason to live, if you can't find a reason to die, you better not live. Come on, this country's 140 crore people are going to die. We better all die together or live together. We have a choice. And I am urging all our 12 crore Telugu people, please, once, join hands and hearts passionately with me to make a difference, to save this great Telugu community and save the nation. We are very strong when we are together. No weapon formed against us shall prosper. But if we allow political, regional differences to overcome our unity, therefore we must keep aside our political differences. I am urging both Chief Ministers of Andhra Pradesh and Telangana and the former Chief Minister. Let us come together to save our states and its economy, but more important, our nation. Together, I am here to serve you, work with you, meet you in person, wherever, whenever you want me. This is my offer through the Meet the Press of Andhra Pradesh and thank you for inviting me.